guys, it's Vivian, your hot stock girl. Today I'm going to discuss the St. Joe Company. The ticker symbol is J-O-E. St. Joe is a little different than most other stocks in that investors are not really buying it based on its current cash flows. It is more of a real estate play, but it is not a REIT. St. Joe has an enterprise value of $950 million on only $114 million in yearly revenue. The EBITDA multiple is a sky high 25 times, so the play here is not the current operations. It is the underlying value of the real estate the company owns. St. Joe's owns approximately 170,000 acres of land in Northwest Florida. Ordinarily, I wouldn't recommend buying some swampland in Florida, but there is a good reason for investors to do a little extra research on St. Joe. St. Joe has a very strong balance sheet, especially for a company involved in real estate, which usually have high amounts of debt. Almost 120,000 acres of St. Joe's land is near the Gulf of Mexico. The population is growing very faster because they usually have very good weather. St. Joe's also has many development projects underway that should provide years of revenue growth. More importantly, Fairhome Capital Management owns over 27 million shares of St. Joe's stock. That is almost 45% of the company, but it gets better. The Fairhome Fund owns over 22 million shares of St. Joe, which accounts for about 37% of the shares outstanding. So who is this Fairhome character? Fairhome was founded by Bruce Berkowitz in 1997. In 2009, Morningstar named Bruce Berkowitz as Domestic Stock Fund Manager of the Year and as Domestic Stock Fund Manager of the Decade. Bruce Berkowitz became famous as an investor after working for Lehman Brothers and Smith Barney. Over 96% of St. Joe's stock is owned by institutions. Clearly, some smart investors think St. Joe's 170,000 acres of land in Florida is worth more than $950 million. The current operations provide about $115 million in revenue and $38 million in yearly EBITDA. But in order for St. Joe to become a winning stock, the real estate has to be used to generate much higher future cash flows. The problem with land is it produces no revenue. And while St. Joe's has many projects under development, it will be years before all of the projects are completed. St. Joe's stock could be good for people who invest with a 5 to 10 year time horizon. Recently, St. Joe announced a partnership with Johnson & Johnson to bring Busy Bee gas station and convenience stores to Northwest Florida. I expect St. Joe's to continue with these types of deals on the land they own to develop businesses that will create more future streams of income. There is also a good chance Bruce Berkowitz buys out the remaining shares himself or sells out to a larger developer. If you are a smart, patient, long-term investor, St. Joe is a stock to add to your portfolio. So there you have it, my thoughts on St. Joe Company. I'm Vivian, your hot stock girl, and please be sure to subscribe below and check out my other videos for more great investment ideas. 